Well, I've had a little setback in the project. Um, I've been ill for a few weeks now. Started with uh, just really tired uh, fatigue uh, for most of the day. I would I would just have to lay down and, and take a lot of naps and I just couldn't get enough sleep. I just didn't have any energy. And that went on for about a week and a half. And then it just progressively just got worse. Uh, then I started to get just insane, crazy brain fog uh, and like depersonalization. Felt like a freaking zombie. Uh, just just couldn't function cognitively. And still dealing with, at the time, even worsening fatigue and weakness. And it got to the point where my muscles, my arms, or any if I would do any type of activity, even lifting a box, um, the next day I would just feel my muscles like I had done a full workout. Uh, that went on for like another couple weeks. Um, and during this time, I had seen a doctor, two doctors actually, did all the blood tests, brain MRI. Uh, x-ray chest x-ray everything normal a little bit of deficiency uh vitamin d de deficiency um a couple other little things that were on the low end of the spectrum but nothing like uh dangerously low nothing that would cause anything uh, those types of symptoms so we still don't know and i'm so i'm still dealing with it um it's it's better uh the brain fog is about 85%, 90% gone. Uh, I can actually kind of think now um, and cognitively function. Um, the, the fatigue is lessening. The muscle pain is definitely lessening. I'm able to do more. So um, as of right now, I'm on the, I, I guess I would say this, whatever this is, has peaked and i'm on the downward slope or upward slope <laughs> i don't know i'm getting better i think i definitely feel improvement but it is slow it is slow going uh i mean i've pretty much been bedridden for three weeks um 85 percent of the day 90 percent of the day just laying in bed uh, getting up to do anything in my heart races i can't catch my breath uh, that that is definitely improving i'm able to actually get up now for a couple hours a day uh, actually several hours a day i'm actually in my office today for the first time in almost three weeks um so i'm seeing some improvement but um but it's just killed the project man i i just i even the thought of going in and working on the airplane was exhausting like literally exhausting so uh Hopefully I'm going to be able to get some energy and, and get back in the shop and, and start doing maybe just little things right now. We still don't know what this is. Um, I've heard anything, well, research I've done suggests potentially long COVID. I never caught COVID that I know of, or if I did, I was asymptomatic. Doesn't mean you can't get long COVID. And there's a big misunderstanding around long COVID. People think it's like, oh, you're having COVID for a long time. No, that's not what it is. Long COVID is a post-COVID syndrome. Uh, and it manifests at, or presents as um, extreme fatigue, uh, brain fog. I mean, all of the symptoms I had, weakness, brain fog, fatigue. Um, I mean, everything on paper says this is long COVID or some other post-viral syndrome. You can get this from... Um, after having the Epstein-Barr virus, uh, mono, there are others, uh, but, and, and, and there's no way to test for that. You can't take a test and say, oh, you have long COVID. Uh, long COVID is diagnosed by uh, uh, you know, testing for things that you don't have. Um, you know, check your heart, check your lungs, brain MRI like I did, make sure there's nothing going on in your brain. And when it's all normal, then they can start to say, okay, well, this is a, uh, this is something like long COVID. Now, um, by definition, uh, this, you know, what I have can't be called long COVID yet because that's, it takes, uh, I think they say 60 days of these symptoms. 
uh, not at 60 days. And some people with long COVID have been dealing with this for years. I never really knew about this until, of course, I started feeling this. And uh, there are some people that are that are years calm radios. Oh, hold on. Turn that off. Uh, there are people that are going through this long COVID for for years. Some, you know, many months to to years with with no improvement. And uh, so I'm thankful that I'm getting some improvement. And again, I'm not saying this is long COVID. I nobody knows. Um, so anyways, the point of the video here um, was just to, some of you probably wondering, because I've been putting out videos weekly to one or two a week for the last, you know, five months and now nothing for three weeks. Uh, that's why um, I do have a about three videos that I had edited and were ready to put up. But like I said, I haven't even had the energy to go up the stairs into my office for, for going on three weeks. Uh, this is the first time I've been up here. So what I'll probably do is at least get those videos um, put up so I can just get some content out there. And uh, maybe I'll release one a week for the next couple of weeks and um, just still kind of rest and do you, maybe I can do a few little things here and there on the project. Um, I just I just find myself getting wiped out pretty, you know, pretty quickly. It's like I say, it's getting better, but um, I definitely don't have the energy to go in the shop and work for eight hours on the project like I did I was doing the fuselage. So, um, anyways, um, I just wanted to put this out there in case everybody's wondering. Um, hopefully in the next few weeks, I can start seeing some more improvement and I'll get back on the project and, uh, kind of start moving like this thing. It never happened. That's what I'm hoping for. Thanks for watching.